Look at you. Hi, honey. How are you today? Such a sweetheart, darling girl who I'm very proud of. We're going to do the same thing with her where we're going to open up the trunk. Open up the door. Because that'll more than likely make her want to leave me. Love it, girl. I love it. I am so proud of you. Huh? You are good. Good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Deep. Go ahead. Look at you. Look at that, huh? Deep. Love it. You're a good girl. Yeah, love it. Love it. Love it. Good girl. I love it. Good girl. There's an invisible boundary right here, right? Like a line coming off of my knee straight out. If she dips into that, her nose starts to go past that. Or even worse, if this is my leg, she can wrap around and she can see on the other side. The pressure turns on and she learns to turn it off by going behind my leg. She can see the backside of my leg. She's not going past this invisible line here. Now I'm consistent with that, so, so she learns. Good girl. So you're carrying yourself behind my leg? That's the trick. We don't want them in front of the leg and then they're scanning and then they're pushy and then they're... So if I feel like she's trying to push that boundary, I'll keep speeding up and slowing down, getting her to cross the boundary, te uh, uh, teasing it out of her almost, like setting her up. If she's not paying attention, boom. She gets a correction. I'll keep setting it up until she won't make the mistake, tell her she's a good girl, and then continue walking until I feel her being pushy again, and then I'll push it out of her. This gets a dog to not be pushy, okay? Good girl, and she's a sweetheart. Yes, she is. Let's go on. Yes, you are very nice, very smart, very good girl, too. Very nice and very good girl. Heel. Yeah, you caught yourself. Come here. Hi. Oh my God, how are you? So now that door, hopefully it's gonna, yeah, it's working. It's already working, right? Cause she's in heel still. Look at her. Hey, Zelda. Zelda, honey. Look at how the brain stops working. Creating a distraction that gets her to mess up so we can teach her what to do with the mistake. Now, would you like to explain to them why this is working right now? What's going on? So I can. Good. You didn't hear me. Can you explain to them why? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought you said you were going to explain no, to them. No. So, we've got her in this nice heel. Everything's going great. We open up the car door, which is a predictable trigger for her to forget about her heel command, run over to the car door, get in, gives us an opportunity that makes sense to her contextually to correct and recall back to the heel. It also teaches her how to think under pressure think about staying in command even though she might want something else. It's nice and cool in the car. She gets to lay down. She gets to relax. Here she's working. So it, it represents anything. It could be a squirrel. It could be a dog. It could be a person. This car door teaches her what to do with when she makes a mistake. Yes, very well put. She, this is a trigger. This is a desirable trigger. So it's something she wants to go towards, right? There's obviously triggers in the environment that make the dog want to run away from you because they, they hear a loud noise. They're just running away. Uh, haven't found a lot of that with her. We're gonna keep looking. I feel like we might find more of that with Piper. Uh, but these triggers are they're the ones that she desires. I see something I like. She's in heels, she's doing great. I say, we open this door, now she sees another option other than me, which is a nice comfy option of in the, in the car. Uh, so now we see a dog who is then, who's told to be in heel, who leaves heel to go do what they want to do, abandon what we've asked them to do uh, and go do what they want to do, which is a, do a dog who is being uh, unfaithful to our leadership or they're not being loyal. So it's a nice loyal loyalty test here to 
have your dog in your command and then have something they, they want uh, kind of in the environment te tempting them, what do they choose? Do they choose to be loyal to you or do they choose to say, see you dude, and be loyal to themselves? And so if we keep doing exercises like this, it takes the dog's brain and it makes them stop choosing the, 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 the choice that, that isn't the one that you asked. Stop, it makes them stop going into independent mode. They, they choose follow mode, they choose to follow you, they get rewarded, they like doing that now. They don't like saying, you know what, I'm not listening to you, I'm gonna go do this, because every time they do that, it's an aversive. So we're just changing her belief system. She's gonna believe by the time this is done, listening to us is her best option, therefore she wants to. I'm not fighting her to not go to the store. She's already been there, done that, it didn't work out. That's, that's how it's set up, so she knows that sticking with us in the face of a temptation is always gonna get her the good girl, okay? Nice break. Nice yeah. job. Honey. You did a 